small memorial with candles, balloons, and stuffed animals to honor the life of an eight-year-old boy taken, police say, by his own family member, his half-brother. This neighbor is so traumatized, he does not want to appear on camera. For a young man to kill an eight-year-old child is reprehensible to me. While neighbors of this high-rise building try to come to grips with what happened here, we found crime scene detectives back at the scene taking a closer look at evidence. The family was supposed to head out for a 4th of July celebration. Instead, mother and father walked into their apartment and found their 8-year-old bleeding out from several stab wounds. Police say his 20-year-old half-brother went on a violent rampage with this butcher knife allegedly turning the knife on his mother, stabbing her in the back. This exclusive surveillance video obtained by PIX11 News shows her running down the street, bleeding and pleading for help. Meantime, back at the apartment, the father tried to wrestle the knife away from his 20-year-old son, but could not. Police say officers repeatedly ordered the son to put the knife down, but he refused, and one of the officers fired his weapon. To see the emotional trauma on those officers' faces. Police believe this started as a domestic dispute that escalated quickly. My heart breaks for that family. This tragedy has some people who live in the building thinking about relocating. It makes me kind of wary to want to stay here. I'm moving out of this building in two weeks. Just yesterday was kind of like the icing for me. Police have not released the identities of the family members involved. Sources are telling us that the family does not have a history of domestic violence. As far as the mother and father, they are expected to be okay physically. Emotionally, they may never be the same. A baby girl was also inside the apartment. She was not hurt. In Jamaica, Queens, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.